The Blood of Lathander is one of the strongest early game legendaries that I recommend you find in Baldur's Gate 3. It has amazing abilities that I think you will find useful and today I'm going to show you my quick little guide that I use mostly spoiler free to get it. Alright so let's get right into it. I just gotta add if you're like me and like to see the most of the cutscenes possible for your current run through, if you continue down this road you will see one. I'm not going to show you obviously so you can experience it for yourself you know make your own decisions but just to give you a heads up it's one down that road so just continue down there so first to get to the area you need to get what i did was climb up these rocks and then went over and went over and broke down this wood wall like i said I, if you're like me i like fighting already hostile air, uh, enemies like nose to get you know the most xp possible so when you hop through this wall you're gonna have to fight some cats when you hop in there so just you know a little side note another note and a, and a big tip that i recommend is reading any books scrolls notes that you come across anything readable i recommend you read it not in real life you don't have to sit there and read through it but if your character just reads it even for a quick second in the future you know in dialogue or even when you read that you might get a quest that you might not not have got if you didn't read it you know so that's just my little two cents that i recommend everybody gets all right anyways you continue down this hall till you get to this room all right you'll see this glass the stained glass painting on the floor and this is where you have to solve the puzzle all right simply put you have to find four weapons and put them on the uh, four flat the four platforms all right now one of the weapons required is already on a platform all right and that's the ceremonial sword that's right here glowing that's so that means you only have to find three more weapons the next fastest one you can find is the battle axe all right you find it by leaving this room and going to the left you will see this glowing door all right through the door is going to be the spirit and in front of the spirit it's going to be the battle axe sitting right on the floor all right so to get it you know you gotta either fight them sneak it or however you want to secure it and then after that you're going to want to head down the hall past the room with the stained floor until you get to this wall of wood all right you're going to break it down with force or however you want to do it and then you're going to go outside and then go to the left immediately there's going to be this vine wall all right so you're going to climb up it and it's going to be two birds at the top all right in the bird's nest is where you're going to find the warhammer all right so as you secure the warhammer however you want to secure it you need one more weapon which is the mace all right and you find that by fighting the looters downstairs so one of them have it so you're going to have to kill them and figure out and loot them and figure out which one have it all right so after you secure the last weapon you're going to head back up to the stained glass floor room and place the weapons on the corresponding platform all right you, you can look down at the glass and see which um platform they have to go all right the one with the um the, you can't see the weapon that's where the battle axe goes just for your information all right after you um place the weapons on their right platform you're gonna get this buff which is the morning's lord's radiance all right which is it just gives you radiance damage on your attack rows so just so you know the most important thing is this wall is supposed to come down and expose this bag that has um this locket and a note all right when you pick those up or read it you're gonna get the quest find the blood of the thunder all right <coughs> So after you get it and um you get the quest, you're gonna continue the story normal, go through the Gatsinki crash, you know, go through the storyline. I'm not gonna show it because I don't wanna give any spoilers away or what you can pick. So you're gonna eventually come to this room with this barrier, alright? And to get through the barrier, you need to place a gem in this socket, alright, in this machine. So the only way I found getting through this is getting the gem from the commander, alright? And so I'm gonna I skipped um, how I got it because I don't want to give away what you can do. So you get through the barrier and you're gonna head down to the Inquisitor's room. All right, when you get to the Inquisitor's room. You're gonna do the cutscenes. You're gonna do what you want to do. I'm, I also skip that because I don't want to give away anything. So you do what you do. All right, I ended up killing him and then I did what was next after that. And then after all the cutscenes, before I left the area, you're gonna head to this room that has two statues. All right, one of them they, they have to face certain directions all right so the one on the right has to face east which is towards you and the one on the um left has to face west which is away from you you have to pass a certain check for you to move the one on the left just so you know so i don't know how else to get into the room without if they all fail the um check but luckily one of my people passed the check and i got into the room so just so you know 
Alright, also a quick note here, since when you go through the wall and down into the area, you're not in the hostile area anymore, so you can take a long rest. But a big warning, this ends the day, and I have experience already after um, ending the day on a long break, I had quests still, that was um, a certain quest, um, stuff happens, and then the NPCs goes away, or they continue on what they gotta do, so when you leave the area and take a break, I don't know what happens. Um, what's gonna happen in your game when you leave when you take a long rest that um in the crash all right just so you know that happens so take a long break at this moment at your own risk all right <clears throat> so back to it now you have to get through these th three doors to get to where the um the weapon is right so to get through the doors you have to destroy these group of tw uh, crystals so the first door is pretty easy it's right there in front of you so you destroy it and you go through the next room um you disarm the trap and then to get to the crystal for this room we have to go to the left in the back all right it's going to be this pathway that leads to almost to the next room the crystal is going to be back there you destroy the crystal for the second room so your party can continue going to this the, the, the last room the last crystal is over the cliff down here on the wall all right so to get that you easily just come over here and you shoot it from the side all right when you go through the last corridor you're gonna come through the chamber where the blood of the is all right i was debating if i should put you know in there and show you what happens and, and how to how to actually obtain the weapon but you guys are smart you're going to get the weapon at this moment but it just depends on your choices in the cutscene all right so however you want to go by it i decided to skip it so you guys can come up with your own um story and see what happens so good luck but just know that um lock it that you got at the beginning of the video play the bit key here all right so there you have it after you do that you have one of the best legend early game legendaries that you can obtain for your campaign all right now go out there and wreak havoc or conquer this game that is Baldur's Gate 3. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe so I can continue to make helpful guys like this. Thank you.